trees were a vital resource to the inhabitants of the Lawson site, used every day for building structures such as the longhouses and palisades, as tools, and as fuel for fires which would have burned in the dwellings of the village. Wood does not preserve well in soil over time, but archaeologists have discovered many other ways that wood leaves clues behind to tell us about the past, including pollen, host molds, and charcoal. Are you ready to make use of this elm tree? Tap the wooden handle of this stone axe to start chopping down the tree. Each longhouse would have started with a framework of straight wooden posts, shaved into a point at one end and sunk deep into the ground. Metal nails would not be introduced to this region until settlers arrived in the 1700s, so the frame of a longhouse would have been lashed together with strips of bark, sinew, or fiber cordage, and the outside of the dwelling lined in bark. It is estimated that there were at least 20 and likely as many as 30 or more longhouses in the Lawson village. These large dwellings were long and narrow in shape and would have housed several extended families of parents and children, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. With an average of four to five hearths per longhouse, a lot of firewood would have been necessary to keep the families who lived here warm in the winter. Fuel would also have been used year-round for cooking foods that were roasted, fried, or simmered in clay pots or smoked in the rafters of the dwelling. The smoke would have escaped through vents in the roof. Each longhouse would have stood for about 20 to 30 years, lengthening or shrinking in size as the families who lived there changed over time. As trees and other resources were used up, the entire village would have moved to a new location and houses such as this one would have been abandoned. You'll see an archaeological site in front of you of where the longhouses once stood. Although wood decays quite quickly, archaeologists recognize the round, regularly spaced shadows of decayed wooden posts left in the soil where longhouse supports once stood. These are referred to as post molds. Burnt wood is reduced to its carbon component, charcoal, and carbon does preserve well in moist soils. Wood charcoal and ash are commonly found by archaeologists during excavations. Radioactive carbon-14 in the atmosphere is absorbed during a tree's lifetime. When it dies, that carbon-14 decays at a set and measurable rate. Therefore, carbon in charcoal can be analyzed to determine how long it had been since a tree had died. Radiocarbon dates have determined the age of the Lawson site to be approximately 500 years old. Keep an eye out for pieces of broken pottery as you explore the village. They'll come in handy later. Don't forget to check out the other three augmented reality tours of the Lawson site. <laughs>